Late night, Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. I, I'm showing off my new toy to you, which is John Holmes. No, I'm showing John Holmes I'm my new to be toy. Your toy at any point. But the, 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 no one's ringing in. Now, why not? I'm, 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 I have killed your show. I'm having an attack of the Julius. Which is what I did with the eleven o'clock show about uh, twenty years ago. <laughs> oh no, don't! That was—I mean, yeah, that was, it was good when you were on it. Well, I know, but, but then I, I took over and look what happened. But, but in fairness to you, I behaved like a spoilt child. <laughs> you quitting got me the job. Yeah, I know. You paid for my house. Geez, did I? How yes. much were they paying you? A lot. I tell you what, I walked away from, and you tell me if it, if it came close to. Yeah, go on, go on. And uh, for that series of the fifth series of the eleven o'clock show, which yeah. I walked away from yeah. five days before the series started, yes. like a twit, yeah. ruining my television career and my uh, uh, re- relationship with Channel Four, nine thousand pounds a week. Oh. Were they giving you more than that? Is that yeah, really a, little, a little bit? Yeah. Did they really? A little bit. Yeah. Flipping you know it. why though? Because they were desperate because yeah. it was five days to go, <laughs> and they literally road tested everyone they'd ever heard of, yeah. and I was available yeah. at short notice. Line one, so you're through, through to John Holmes. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Oh, that's, but that's, um, that's, a, that's a Howard Stern thing. I, I never got Howard Stern. I don't think he's very good. Is that a Howard Stern thing? I didn't that's know. That's a Howard Stern thing. I don't know because someone's done it before. Um, yeah, no, I... I I was I I this is one of the worst mistakes is walking away from the Eleven O'clock Show and that's why did you walk away from the Eleven O'clock Show? Because they, they never told me. They literally said because I had a little slot on it. Yeah. They went, you know the, uh, the you know the, you know the Ricky Gervais, Sasha Baron Cohen thing, and I went, yeah. They yeah. went, you're that. Yeah. And yeah, look what happened. But I go fine, and they say, so you're the two minute thing. Yeah. And Ian obviously is presenting it. Uh, fine. And then you quit. Yeah. And then they went, uh, can you uh, present the Eleven O'clock Show? Yeah. And obviously I went. How much? Uh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did. And obviously then it, it got axed. I, but what was interesting was that uh, I We've was, never had this conversation no, before. I know. I'm no, the, no, I'm no, I'm no, no, I know. No, no, no. I mean, we, we, our paths have crossed several yeah, yeah, times, yeah, yeah, yeah. but never like this. So, it, but, but you quitting yeah. genuinely paid for my house, so I, I'm oh, thankful for that. Can, yeah. I, can I come and stay there? Yeah, absolutely. Would you're, that be okay? You're invited to the nice reason, house. The reason I quit is because... Um, there was nobody from the original team that works on that show I was the only original person left and yep. I should have been brave enough when everyone else left to say I'm not going to do this series you know months and months in advance like eight months in advance and I didn't and as it was progressing and progressing I just thought I don't find any of this even remotely funny yes. and the original 11 o'clock show was hit and miss but the hits I really enjoyed and there was a real camaraderie because we all started together that was gone I felt really alone and isolated and I just thought I thought the whole thing wasn't funny. I thought that pilot show that we did, I thought it was, I thought the whole thing was a stinker. Yes, it was really weird, wasn't it? It was awful. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I, I was also I was also really insecure and full of self-doubt. Um, coupled with I was re- quite arrogant at the time as well. That weird kind of mix of, of arrogance and I was I was um, I was pissed most of the time as well, if yeah. I'm completely honest. And um, it was it was a terrible, terrible decision. And I phoned my agent up the next day and said, You have to get me off this show. I cannot do it. Yeah. And I if I think if I'd done it I would have had a breakdown or something, you know, fifteen years earlier than I ended up having it. Yeah. Uh, and it, I just but it, it screwed my T V career completely. You know yes. it, well, it completely screwed it. But bear in mind that I did it and it also screwed mine. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure you lost that much. The radio show for people who know the best part of the day is the night. Late night, Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk. 